Hey friends, so today I wanted to shoot the intro outside and you can see how cold it is, it's all snowy and this is a lake by the way, so yeah, it's all freezed up and it's almost minus 5 degrees Celsius. In today's video, I wanted to go over another fundamental topic for DevOps, which is infrastructure as code, where you define your infrastructure in a file as code pretty self-explanatory when it comes to the term itself it is also referred to IAC and the most popular tool right now for infrastructure as code is Terraform so today I'll be demonstrating a simple example with Terraform and the cloud provider we will be using is Azure so let's jump into the video so traditionally what would happen is you would have an app or a software that you need to deploy to either cloud or your own data center, you would have to manage the infrastructure. So before even putting the code on the infrastructure, you would have to deploy it manually. And that would be tedious and it's also not repeatable. So let's say you need a similar QA environment staging or development environment as what you have in the production. So having that repeatability was kind of solved with infrastructure as code. Also, it's easier to manage the infrastructure. So what happens now is you have a file where your code is defined. So let's say this is our file that has code and you would have a build server, right? So we'll call this build server. And what happens is the code goes to the build server where we have defined our infrastructure. And this gives us an infrastructure in the cloud. And this could be AWS, GCP, uh, your own data center or Azure. A few of the popular infrastructure as code tools are Terraform, right? And then we have AWS CloudFormation. These are the ones that I'm familiar with, really um, like proficient with. And we also have now Azure Bicep and then GCP has its own. But yeah, those are some infrastructure as code tools that we have now. And I think Terraform is the most popular because it's cloud agnostic. So you could define your Terraform file containing your infrastructure and you can use that to deploy to various cloud providers. That's what cloud agnostic means. So now let's jump into the example. We'll rewrite a main.tf. So Terraform uses .tf extensions, which would consist our code, where we would define our infrastructure to deploy a website to Azure. So diving into the code itself, we'll create our Terraform file here, which is called main.tf. And this is where our majority of the code would exist. And for the first part, we would have the provider itself, which would be Azure RM. And you can read more about it on the Terraform website. So this is basically the official provider from Azure, which you can utilize to create resources in Azure using Terraform. And we would need three resources. So the first one would be the resource group itself, which would contain the resources we would create underneath it. The second would be the storage account. And the third would be the blob that would contain our index.html, which would be our static site basically. Now, if I open my terminal here, I'm already logged in into the Azure CLI, at least that I know of. So we'll do Terraform init that would initialize our project here. So Terraform has been successfully initialized. 
That looks good. And we'll go terraform plan. So terraform plan would give us an output of what all resources would be created. It won't create it. It would just say, hey, this is your plan. This is what it looks like in Azure. So we'll give it some seconds. And now you can see three to add, zero to change, and zero to destroy. So it says three will be added. So three resources that will be added. You can, if you scroll up, can see. The first one being the resource group will be created. And the second one is the storage account and a few details about storage account. And the third one is the blob. Now, if we do Terraform apply, it would again kind of give us that output for all those three resources and also ask us for the permission that are you sure you want to deploy this? And we can go ahead and type yes. So now we have to wait and see our resources getting deployed. A few moments later. So now, as you can see, the resources have been created. And if we go to the Azure portal, which I have open here, and if we go into the resource groups, um, yep, so we call our resource group as rg-terraform-demo, and we can see it created a storage for TF demo account here. And if you go into static website, so if everything went as expected, we should see our H1 tag saying, hey friends, this website was deployed with Terraform on Azure Storage. So in this video, we covered another DevOps fundamental topic, which was infrastructure as code. And I hope this example of Terraform and Azure helped you understand it more. But yeah, hopefully you're liking this DevOps series. And if you're interested in Terraform, I have two videos on the channel already, which explain some more concepts and how Terraform works. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.